Nyerere. It's now 20 years down the line since uh, the late president, uh, Honorable Mike Kibaki, initiated reforms in the judiciary, which were led by uh, the Honorable Justice Rigera. So we urge the president, because there is enough public outcry, for the president to wake up to the cause by the public and initiate a commission that will do serious reforms, that will undertake serious surgery in uh, our judicial system. Because we can't move forward with the judiciary the way it stands now. So it's time we had serious judicial reforms uh, out of uh, initiated by president out of the public outcry. Number two, we are looking, I'll be introducing a bill to parliament to enact it to law so that we can have timeline, timelines for courts on determination of matters touching on public policies. Policies that are made towards serving the public should not take eternity in court, but that's the scenario we are facing now. So what we are saying is this, this bill, like the way we have uh, a bill, the, like the way we have, uh, we have timelines for rulings or determination on presidential petitions uh, if challenged after the presidential election. We need timelines for determination on government policies which have ended up to court because these are affecting serious government policies. Look at the Finance Act 2023-2024. It's now in court. Implementing it is a challenge. That's where our military should draw is finance to do its operation, to safeguard our country. That's where the police should get their finance support to give us security. That's where help is coming from. That's where the capitation for secondary schools are coming from. That's where disbursement to counties is coming from. That's where the CDF money, which is going for bursaries for our kids, is coming from. Then we have one or two people with the activism minds just dragging in court forever to derail these serious programs touching on Mwanainji. So it's time, even we need a special court. The bill will also have a proposal for a special court for these government policies touching uh, on Mwanainji, touching the service of Mwanainji on serious issues. Because we, we can't affect Mwanainji because of uh, the madness in, in, with some of the people in our country. Look at Okio Motata, challenging everything. He's an elected member. We have over 300 elected members. Something is passed in parliament, and he takes it alone to the court. So it's one individual, one individual, one fella, a funny fella, stopping the whole country, stopping our military, stopping our police, stopping capitation, stopping disbursement to counties. This cannot be allowed. So if such a people, because they have freedom to go to court, if such a people end up to court, they should get at least two weeks the bill we propose two weeks for the ruling of uh, these uh, issues touching on these policies touching on uh, Mwanainchi. Look at uh, the uh, health care issue. It's already in court, it has been stopped. Look at the housing levy finance, it's in court, it has been stopped. The Finance Act 2023-2024 has been stopped. How do you run the country? How do you protect the country? with such issues in court. So that's why we are calling for a special court. That's why we are calling for two weeks for ruling on these issues. And that's a bill we are going to introduce. We've already drafted it. I'll be putting it before the table of the speaker the first thing after the recess.